The UWM women's volleyball team stays home this weekend. Two more Horizon League matches on tap as the Panthers welcome Butler to the Kalashi Center on Friday night and Wright State to the Kalashi Center on Saturday afternoon. UWM got their league season off to a great start this past weekend, beating Green Bay in four sets and Loyal in three. Senior Mackenzie Millis agrees it was a nice way to start the league campaign. Yeah, it was really exciting to finally start the league and know that like we're finally getting into like the thick of things and knowing that Loyola and Green Bay were coming in. They're coming off of a strong preseason, so we knew it was going to be a test and we were ready for it. Mackenzie Millis, one of a number of seniors with big weekends this past weekend for the Panthers. She had 17 kills, a collegiate best, in that win over Green Bay Friday. Another senior excelling in league play so far is Melissa Jansen. She recorded 11 kills in the winter for Loyola on Saturday and is getting a bigger opportunity to play for the Panthers. Yeah, I am really excited. Um, we have a lot of people that play my position, so I wasn't really sure coming in. Um, but I guess I'm just trying as hard as I can and doing what I can for the team. The Panthers still gradually making the shift from non-league play to league play after last week when they wrapped up the non-conference with a trip to Western Michigan. All those stiff tests during the non-conference should pay off during league play, with Panther players focused on certain things they can do even better. I think we kind of just learned how to like be a team, and we have a lot of freshmen playing, so kind of getting them in the mix of things, it's a lot different than high school and club play, so I think we just kind of learned to, like, to work out the kinks, if anything. We just know that we always have to be crisp, and if we don't start off well in the first part of our match, then we got to keep working on things, and we're really good at making the changes in the match, and so we just got to keep being successful at doing that, and just like keep fighting. That's the biggest thing, is we just got to keep fighting, keep pushing the other team, and put the pressure on them. The league schedule does continue, with Butler coming to the Clashy Center Friday night, and Wright State visiting Saturday afternoon. With the Bulldogs up first, one of the focus is the fact that BU is the only team to beat the Panthers during the regular league season at the Klotchy Center last year. Butler also wound up winning the league tournament at the Klotchy Center in November, knocking off Cleveland State and Valparaiso. That's something not lost on the Panthers. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you always want to come back and win the game that you lost last year. And that, I mean, it's a really, it's a big motivation factor for us. We never like to be beat at home. So the fact that they did that last year, we really want to come out strong this um, weekend and beat them really, really fast in three, hopefully. We just know coming in, everyone is out to get us. You know, Milwaukee, we always win. So people always are, we're always on the target of people. So, um, I don't know, I think they lost a lot of seniors, both teams, I think, so I don't know. I think we're going in pretty confident and looking forward to winning some more games, I think.